Charles Edgar Hampton here on behalf of the Variety Tube channel and we're moving into the second phase of the project which is building or putting together, constructing, whatever you want to call it, the new system. You need your case, motherboard, power supply, processor, sound card, video card, fans, hard drive, Blu-ray drive, RAM. So First thing we need to do is go in and unbox your case so you can seat the motherboard. Okay, so now that we got the case open, whatever got it unboxed, go in and note the size of the fans. Um, all of my fans, alright, this is a 120 millimeter, every single one of them, even the cool little hidden one on the bottom, is a 120. 120 millimeter fan. So anyway, make sure I'm still on screen, everything's fine. Go on and um, unscrew the both of these. Those two screws are just on each side. Take that off. And seems to be pretty good, yeah. So, tool is mounting, which is fantastic, wonderful. All right. In there, you'll have all of your screws and such. All right. Good old fashioned PC speaker, a few cable ties, screws, even the little gold pins, which go in. Here, which is where your motherboard, all right, it's going to screw into. So, it even tells you, which is cool. I'm going to show you that in a moment. Actually, now. All right. So, it tells you, which is so nice. Hey, if you have these types of, all right, motherboard form factors, and these are the holes that you use. So, that's so convenient, so nice, very thoughtful. So let's get to working. Go on and screw in the gold pins which allow air to pass on both sides of the motherboard. Double check the form factor in the motherboard manual and use the appropriate holes. Your case or case manual should indicate which ones to use. Alright, first thing you're going to need to do, alright, take your plate. This is going to cover everything up. Take a look first. All right, the audio right now as it's looking at me is going to be on my right. When it's installed, it's going to be on the left. So the audio needs to be on the left. Plugs are going to be on the bottom. Put it in there. And gently. It's going to feel funny. And I hear it a little popping. Just like with so many things, it's okay to hear a little bit of popping. Not too much, though. You can always pick it back up, double check it. Look at the back. Looks good. Turn it back over. Double check camera angle. Cool. Alright, so now, take the motherboard, setting it gently down. Insert two screws to hold the motherboard or MOBO into place. Before inserting all screws, double check the MOBO plug alignments with the silver plate you just inserted into the case. So this little tab that's on the top, bend it up, get it out of the way. Once you're sure everything is aligned properly, secure the MOBO to the case using the appropriate screws.
Now it's time to connect the mobo to all the plugs on the case. I do a poor up illusion as in the dog's voice and speaking pattern just to be silly at some point so forgive me if you don't like it. So what you need to do is you can either do it one or two ways. You can kind of make a mental list of what this is. Power LEDs. Be careful. Power switch. Reset switch. Alright. Alright, disk drive indicator. Alright. Front USBs. Alright. Nice and special AC97. Oh yeah. That is what I like. And then you got that pin. Alright. Interesting to see that that one goes to the ultra even more special one. So we'll deal with that later. Oh yes we will later deal with it. So let's go on and get started. So PLED power positive is on the left. So yeah sorry. I'm not camera friendly right now. Kinda gonna have to um get over that. Sorry. It's not the worst thing in the world. Hit open. Next, hard drive. All right, disk. The arrow is going to indicate the positive. Positive is on. And you can even look if you can see very closely. Give me a moment. One more time. I know you like that sucks, but be patient. Oh, it's focusing on the yeah, so you can see. See how it has a little arrow and the arrow is pointing to the pin on the left. Alright. So and it's also in case you forget. Alright, it's going to help you out. So don't panic. If you're like, oh my god, I forgot what's what. It's not that serious. So, again, positive is going to be the red one. You can again see the uh, arrow. Switch it around. Zoom out. Like I said, it's going to get shaky. Get over it. Be patient. Alright, and done. Move on to the next one. Power switch. And last but not least, reset switch. This time positive is on the right. But again, make sure positive switches around this time. Positive is on the right. Okay, so that's done. Make sure that's all of them. Kind of move them out of the way. Double check. Of course, they give you cable ties. You can go in and wrap them up like this. Don't pull them too tight. Give them room to go around because, of course, you know you are going to put uh, a Blu ray drive up there. Or at least I'm going to put a Blu ray drive up there. So. I'm not just going to put these and pull those in tight. So, just leave them loose. Let them hang loose, as they say. Alright. I believe that I mistakenly covered up the mic on this next video segment. So, please turn the volume up temporarily. I will give you a warning before it returns to the regular volume level. Alright, next thing, go on and hook up your USB port. Notice that there is one block off all right pin it needs to match up of course with the missing one so it needs to rotate around so that it is bottom right and just plugs on down 
always make sure you take your time. All right. Now this has two two audio jumpers. I'm gonna put and the way you know again if you notice they both match up. Okay. Both have the second top left in block. Or you can look at that as the uh, <laughs> second top right. But one says HD audio, and the other one has all right, what would be assumed or assumed as legacy. So, and what I mean by legacy is old. All right, but in this case, I'm going to use onboard. And if I regret that later on, of course, I can just unhook it. And as I think about it, I'm like, I don't even want to use onboard audio, so I'm not even going to hook it up. But if you were using your onboard, then you would want to hook up your main connector to it. But I do have a separate card that I purchased. So that's not going to be a um, big deal to me. One of the things, I do have this external SATA all right, capacity. So that definitely needs to be... Uh, hooked up. So um, what I'm going to go on and do, since this front fan, all right, actually can be used, so I can go on and take this out, and because if you flip it over, all right, you notice, all right, and you should always pay attention, all right, that this doesn't have to have this extender on it, considering it is one of the chassis fans or system fans, you can hook it up to the motherboard directly. So it can be telling the motherboard, or rather the motherboard, the board can tell the fan, all right, how hot, how cold it needs to be. And hook that up to right here where it says system fan, all right. You have one system fan can be hooked up there. Of course, they know that another system fan can be hooked up there. And then your CPU fan is going to be right up there. Yep, so there you go. The video will now return to regular volume, so please return the audio level to the setting where you normally listen to things. And now with that hooked up, as in those plugs, it is now time and the USB, again, leaving the audio out so we can hook it up. See if there is a port on the um, sound card. But now the next thing that I'm going to do is going to hook up the power supply. Alright, so now we're on the next step, which is going on and putting in the power supply. Alright, with this power supply, alright, one of the things that I was looking at with this bottom mount is you need to think about what you're sitting this on. If you're going to sit in this directly against the floor, the beautiful part is, or on carpet, where you're not going to give it clearance enough to breathe, you can, if you want to, set it this way. Alright. Of course, just take your time, double check. Screw holes will still align. All right. One, two, three, and four. So don't panic. If I did put it backwards, see how part of this is going to be covered up? It's not really going to have the intake that I want. All right, so that's why I'm mounting mine upside down. Whatever works for your application works for your application, but that's for me and my PC. That's how we're doing. The beauty of smart design is things can be ambidextrous. If you're going to be moving around, especially if you're doing this during the winter time, make sure to touch some metal elsewhere. Every once in a while, make sure you're not going to shop your system, which would suck, officially. So there you go. Got your power supply now mounted in. Just fine. So now, what we need to do is go ahead and hook this sucker up. Your power connectors are going to be here. Notice...
see that right there? JPWR2. Other power port right there. So let's go ahead and plug that in. Alright. Simple, simple, simple. Yes, I did say that. Notice the tab. Alright, on this side. So, thusly, accordingly. Take your main power connector. Gently. Alright, I'm going to use two hands for this. But anyway, this one goes here. So one moment. You plug this main connector in. Alright, notice. There is no screw over here supporting this. Okay, so if you just get to pushing, you're probably going to crack your motherboard. Please, in Jesus, Allah... Yahweh, Vishnu, Krishna, whoever, Buddha's name. Okay, please support as you plug in. Alright, so in other words, grab the underside and then push down gently. But again, make sure you support. Do not break your motherboard. I told you not to do it. If you do it, that's on your own. But I told you not to. So again, same thing with this one. Alright, the little pin clip is on the bottom side here. I'm going to take this one and the 8 pin, again, no crack, and go on and plug it down there. Alright, sorry again for the, uh, whack angles. I can afford to push this one down a little bit better because if you notice there's a screw and a support right next to it. It still means you still want to be gentle. Alright, just because it is supported doesn't mean you just go ham. Alright. And you just, all you need to do is hear that click. Once you hear that click, just go on and back up off of it. Alright, and so there you go. Next, let's hook up the CPU. When you do this, notice that one of the motherboard CPU pad corners has a little indention in the shape of a triangle. For my motherboard, it is towards the upper left or it is towards the back where the plugs are and towards the top of the case. This matches with the triangle that will be on the corner of your CPU. You must match these up carefully. All right, and if you have any confusion also, notice there are missing notches. And so the two that are offset are where my thumb is, on the side where my thumb is. So that's also another indicator that I'm doing the right thing. It should go right down in there. I mean, just literally fall right on down in there. No problems. Lock it down. You're set. The next thing that needs to happen is for you to carefully, all right, go ahead and take whatever cover that your thermal compound, don't touch it. Yeah, it's pretty, but don't touch it. Okay. Make sure that you keep in mind your CPU fan power is up here. So then put your plug over there. Alright, so that way it has no problem getting to it. When you I put it down. I'm going to pick it back up. Alright, thermal compound is good and set. But I'm going to put more because I'm looking, and I'm so glad I double-checked this. And I'm going to zoom in so you all can see this. That ain't enough thermal compound to cover that entire thing. And that's not good. I'm glad I double-checked, and I'm glad I have some. I'm going to take a little bit around the edges. Not completely on the edge. I don't want it to smear and drip over the side. Not that it would ever quote drip. But I don't want to take any chances. Note the locking tabs on the top and bottom of the motherboard CPU pad. And also note the fan plug on the upper right corner. Alright, so now that you say seated, alright, the heat sink on there. You'll know when it's set. 
because it'll be tough because it needs to definitely be as flush as possible. All right, I'm going to mount your fan power switch onto the next thing. Just want to double check everything. Take a look, turn it on around, look at it. We now have a power supply installed, so used to the top mounted power supply. All right, and um, we've got our CPU locked down. And uh, considering everything in here, it's going to put in that Blu ray drive. All right, I'm going to put mine on as a top, so of course, this needs to be. We'll punched out and moved out of the way. And beautiful design. Alright. Comes with all right, another screen or mesh on the inside of mesh. Alright. To make sure that dust doesn't get in if you don't want it in there. Alright. Very happy and cool about that. Alright. With this, and take a screwdriver. Just twist. All right, these are those knockouts people were complaining about. All right, just working and wiggle it. If you want, you can probably pop it like that. That'll work as well. And just pull it on out. Again, wish you could see that what I'm doing. If you can see inside of all of that black, which yes, you can. So great. Taking the screwdriver, putting it in there, twisting, popping that out, and that's it. As long as it's popped, then you can go in and Pull it out. I'm just being gentle because I don't want to, like I said, scratch the front of my case. It's a pretty case. Alright, no problem with that. Or those that are just hardcore. Yeah, you can see. One, two, well, no, not two. One, two, three. You pinch those in with pliers carefully. All right, then this front plastic panel can pop off if you so need to get access to it. All right, is in up under it. Shouldn't have to, but in case you're one of those people that want to, then that's how you can do it. Also, if you want to see what those little locking pins do. All right, I don't know if you can see that. That's locked, unlocked. Basically, they're... not out now they're out thank you so much for watching part one the variety tube channel will continue with part two if you just click the link below